Hi everybody, I'm Jeff uh, here at Missouri Wind and Solar and I'm in the wind tunnel and if you look out the window, I just got the viewing window put in, you'll see the wind anometer is stalled. We just got that put in out there. Now come on over here and look at the meter. It's a vortex anometer, wind anometer, and it's reading uh, 1.8 mile per hour. Now it's down to zero. Anyway, we'll be making adjustments to this and be moving that wind anometer, uh, the gauge someplace else. But you can look out the window, and that's just the wind that's going through the wind tunnel right now. And it's about a one and a half, two mile per hour. So this is the control panel for the engine outside, uh, the swamp boat motor. And uh, we'll be mounting this panel in here on the wall, something like this. So I'll be getting that up next. And when we get the uh, wind turbines mounted, we have an RPM meter. We're going to be doing the RPMs on them. And we got a digital meter. And this part here will hook up onto the wind turbine. And this little magnet will basically mount on a wind turbine hub. And as that hub turns, the magnet will pass over this uh, part here and it will give me the exact RPMs of a set of wind turbines, or how, how many RPMs the wind turbine is turning. Now we're on the, other, uh, the uh, tunnel itself, you kind of look in here and see what we got done so far. It's an 8 by 8 control room. Okay, let's go on in the other part. So I'm also on the tunnel here, we're going to put a closed circuit camera up here and it'll be, it'll be in front of the wind straightener of course. So we're going to have a closed circuit camera up there so we can watch the front of the wind turbine, see what it's doing. We're going to have a closed circuit camera off to the side that'll be pointing down at the blades so you can see blades flexing back and forth and just how much they do. And of course we'll be filming from inside of the control room. And then we're going to have one more closed circuit camera at the exhaust end of the tunnel so that you can watch the rear end of the wind turbine. Okay, this is what the inside of the wind tunnel looks like so far. You can see we got it all enameled. And here's the wind anometer. I've got to finish this up. We just stuck it through the wall. And then this gets a piece of metal trim over the window here. Shooting glass. Now the wind turbine will set about here. And we're getting ready to go ahead and bring this motor inside. We're going to take it inside today. So we're welding up legs for it. And it'll move inside about two or three feet. We should have it all wired up today and ready to start. Now you see the, the ceiling up here is angled like this. Now what I got to do next is do the same thing up there. From here we'll be down to the floor all the way back to the wind turbine. So and there's an air straightener that goes out here, I don't know, about five or six feet. And it'll be a set of tubes that the wind passes through to straighten out the air. And this is blowing, it's not sucking. The reason we can't have it sucking through, which would probably be better, is because we're going to be running all types of wind turbines in here, prototype blades and wind turbines with cheap blades. And the problem is that we're going to run them up to where those blades will actually explode and when they do parts of it if it was sucking would go into this blade set so anything that would explode off a wind turbine would get sucked into this now anything gets sucked into this poly or this carbon fiber blade and it will explode i mean shatter into a million pieces so that's why we have it blowing this system is going to blow and we intend on putting just about every wind turbine you can think of in this tunnel and what we've got is a seven foot, six inch span on the inside of this. So the swept area of a blade set we can get in here will be about seven, six or seven, eight inches to the outside. So stay tuned. We should have this running this weekend, have a wind turbine installed down there. We should have all of our controls put in on the wall, ready to go. So I'm Jeff and uh, I'll see you later.